Our coverage of the CIF playoffs continue tonight featuring our area teams and yes, an emphasis on our area. The highlights you'll see tonight and every night for that matter are from games in the Valley shot by Bailey Ardondo and myself. Just two guys covering as much as we can for a four minute local sports show. I digress. We start with soccer DVL champion Coachella Valley at home against Esperanza. Arabs dyeing their hair as tradition for the playoffs. CV would score in the first five minutes of the game and Juan Ortiz would add another, the senior. He's really come alive late in the season. You remember he had that goal against Desert Mirage, which helped the Arabs win DVL, and now he scores here again. The Arabs, an aggressive team. This shot now hitting the crossbar. I mean, they had some chances, and they would get some goals. They were attacking early and often, but they were playing like they were down. So you got to credit CV, never took the foot off the gas. Arabs take care of business at home, 3-1 the final. Also want to mention Palm Desert won at Colton and Shadow Hills beat Bellflower. All these teams will play Saturday in the second round. All right, let's hit the hardwood. Xavier Prep hosting New Kaipa in the first round of the playoffs. Head coach Thad Bosley looking like a boss. Crispy coach, look good, feel good, coach good. I guess his teammate came out, they look good. Jenna Weineke with the handle. Little sizzle in her game. Crossover mid-range game for two. Former student athlete of the week was the best player on the floor. Wasn't really close. More Saints, good ball movement here to find the shooter in the corner, Rosalie Gutierrez. Can't leave her open. She's the best shooter on the Saints team. Just before the quarter now, Wieneke. Crossover, pull up, get it, got it good. So calm under pressure. She buries it. What a shot and what a momentum shift for the Saints who would really kind of use it from there. This is the freshman, Grace Thompson. Takes it all the way to the house for two and then the outlet. Amory Farrell finds Wieneke. Saints survive in advance 53-50, the final over Ukaipa. Xavier home Saturday in the second round. Desert Christian Academy at home against Charter Oak in 4A. DC has won nine of their last 10 coming in back and forth. Very low scoring game, emphasis on low scoring. Hannah Shaver, the sophomore, handling business underneath. Charter Oak would take the lead in the second quarter. Their players kind of talking to the DCA crowd, little, uh, Silence or tell them to shush, and I, I don't know if I would do that. Not a, not a very good idea. Natalie Duncan, their leader, goes up and under DCA. They'd go on a second half run, breaking late like Seabiscuit. Marin Olsen added some range for the Conquerors. This one went into overtime. The Lady Conquerors survived 35 32, the final as they advance to the next round. All right, let's hit the pool. Palm Springs hosting Rosary in the second round. Beautiful night on the west side. An ugly result, however, for the Lady Indians who were simply outmatched in this one. Heck of a season for Michael Mark's team. Reese Spear, Kay Piwanka, and the entire Palm Springs squad should keep their heads held high. The Indians fall to Rosary 10-4 the final. Also want to mention Xavier Prep won 7-4 at Fountain Valley. The Lady Saints will play Saturday in the quarterfinals. And we'll have the coverage for you there.